Hey everybody, it's me again, and this video is part two of how to limit choices for users that you're assigning. So this scenario is a little bit different. This one is where an admin is going to assign users to a team, but does not want to repeat teams for that user, making sure that you'll never have a repeat. If you didn't watch my last video, make sure you go ahead and look at that first, because that talks about how a user can sign themselves up without any repeats. This one's going to be about how admins are going to assign other users to Teams. This app actually requires four sheets. I still have my user sheet, my team sheet, and my assignment sheet. But this fourth sheet is now the admin sheet, and this is going to serve as my home page. Also in this app, the current signed in user is no longer the person to whom we're assigning the Teams. It's going to be the admin. So in that user profile setup, I've now chosen for the admin name and the admin email to be the ones that are signing into the app because the admins are the one who are assigning the people. In the sheet, I have the admin, the admin email, and the admin, admin image in order to complete the profile configuration. But I also have a fourth column for person choice. And this person choice is going to be the person to whom we're assigning teams. All right, that person choice is going to be a choice component here on this page. And this choice component is going to pull from the available list of people from our sheet one. Uh, the values that we're going to write is actually the person ID, but we're going to display the person name. And we're going to write it to that person choice column here. Then I have a form button. And this form button is going to house just one thing, this team. And this team choice component is again going to be the team ID. So this choice component is going to pull from the list of teams. I'm going to write the team ID to the third sheet. And I'm going to display it as the team names. And I'm going to write it to the team ID column just like last time. So here I can see the list of teams. And then uh, I also included some relationships here in the admin sheet. Uh, the admin sheet here. So this is the person choice. And I formed a relation to, between the person choice to get the person name and then form this uh, form title, team assignment for that person, uh, just so I have some context here when I'm assigning the team, right? Uh, just because what I don't want is for me to choose demo and then I go into open form and then I forget who I'm assigning again, right? Rather than having to go back and check, I can just quickly see that I'm assigning a team to demo here. So to get this to work, what you do in the data editor is in the teams column here. Okay, we're going to create a template just like before, where we're going to grab the current user's information, but we're not going to grab the current user's email, which was in our previous video, the person who was signing themselves up. But instead, we're going to grab the current person's person choice, which is the admin's user choice. Right. And so here I have the current person ID in this list. And then I did a relation between this ID and the people sheet. And then I grabbed the person's email. So now I have the current admin's person choice email. And then I did a template of that email to the team, followed by the assignment of this team number, of this template column here, to the assignments. Okay. And so here I've chosen demo as my person, and demo has only chosen or has only been assigned to one team so far, and that's this one here, demo team four. And so we can see that demo team four has an assignment. Right? If I were to go back to my app and choose Robert Petito from the list, okay, now in my teams, my current person is no longer Demo. My current person is now Robert Petito, and Robert Petito has two different assignments. So our relationship of our assignments is now dynamic based upon the person that's chosen by the admin. And so now we can, again, filter our list of choices available for that person that we selected in our form. So again, in our open form, we, want to, uh, we still want to filter this team by the available teams left. Okay. So uh, in our choice component, we'll do features, and we're still going to choose whether that relation is empty or not. So to see how this works, I've chosen Robert as my person. I'm going to open up the form. 
I can see that I'm assigning a team for Robert, and I see that Robert has not yet chosen team two, so I'll choose team two and submit. And now in my third sheet, I can see that Robert Petito has been assigned to team two. All right, now if I choose demo, right? Demo has not yet been assigned to team two, so I should be able to see team two in my list. I select open form. I now see that I'm assigning a team to demo. I'm gonna choose team, and I see that team two is available for, for demo. I hit submit, and now I see that demo has been assigned to team two as well, right? If I open the form again, team two will not be an option for demo. Neither will team two be an option for Robert. And there we go. So the magic works. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.